Like, you're kind of, like, on the edge of your seat, or you're, like, kind of, like, ah. That was us. Us the whole time. Like, we literally <laughs> paid literally... seven fifty for a movie that we barely watched. Yeah. So, I might as well just start the video outside. So, hey, guys. What's good? So, my friend Nicole and I just finished watching Truth or Dare. Who oh, said it? Oof. <laughs> we told each other that we would not say it like ever again just because it was that creepy. I'll insert my Snapchat story now. So we just finished Truth or Dare. Really corny ending, but it scared us like the whole time. I am shook. Like, what did you think of the movie overall? If you're a scaredy cat or like a big baby, it's a good movie to see. <laughs> it's not, it's scary, but it's not that bad. Like, we're big scaredy cats, but we saw it together and we were literally like huddling each yeah, other. Yeah, we were like, it's a great bonding exercise. It was a great bonding <laughs> exercise. Let me just start from the beginning. The movie was really good. I don't want to reveal it a lot of things, but it was really good. Like, it was good. I would see it again. Not in theaters, but I would brought, I'd rent it. I like Tyler Posey from Teen Wolf. He was I, Lucy Hale was really good acting too. She did, I've never seen her act, but she was good. I like Tyler Posey, I have a crush on him. Um, but the Asian guy I liked a lot. He was a good actor. There were some things where it's like kind of corny and kind of predictable, um, but I mean, it was a movie about Truth or Dare, so like. My first general thought of the movie I was like, oh, I kind of want to see it, but it also looks kind of dumb. When you hear it, you're like, okay, how scary can a truth or dare game be? So I just want to talk about the ending real quick because I thought that I could predict it, but it was totally like not what I was going to predict. I was like, oh, like, I, I thought it was just going to be one of those generic, like, oh, everyone saves the day, yeah. everyone wins, but like, there's just like so many twists at the end that I like almost couldn't keep up. I definitely give this like 10 out of 10, would watch again. Like I would definitely own this. It was either this movie or A Quiet Place. And honestly, I feel like we would have gotten a lot more scared if it was yeah. the, A Quiet Place. Yeah, I heard A Quiet Place only has like, what, 10 words or 10 sentences in it? Yeah, so... and it's like dead silent for some of the movies. And it's so... like a monster movie. I don't know, it looks, that looks creepy to me. I'm a, like I said, I'm a scared cat, so. We walked out of. <laughs> we I'm walked. Scared. We walked out of the theater. We kind of stayed until like the end end credits because we were just like getting our things ready, like getting our coats on stuff like that. We start walking out with the end end credits and said, you know, the words. The words. Really creepily, and I was, I literally was like, Nicole, we gotta get the <laughs> out of here. Kind of gave me a little shove. I was <laughs> like, let's go. <laughs> I was like. No, they're not gonna try creepy. and get us. I don't even want to know what was on the screen. We're never playing that game in Mexico ever, or in America, or, ever, or anywhere like, we're never in the world. It. I'll play like, Never Have I Ever again, but never will I play this game. She says it's a cheesy ending, but like honestly, I thought it was the perfect ending. It was just so unpredictable. Of course, there's so many um advertisements on Snapchat, on Instagram, on YouTube. I was like, well, I already saw all of the advertisements, so do I even need to see the uh, movie? We saw a couple of things that were similar from the trailer in the movie, but there were also a lot of things where we were like, oh, I think this was in it, and then something completely different happened, and we were like, wait, so there's gonna be another time that this happens? And it definitely plays with your emotions. Like, we laughed, we cried, we were shook angry or some we were angry, angry. Like, we were happy and then like oh i'm gonna leave you with this the movie kind of makes you think of who your friends are just watch what you say just That's, like really think about what you're about to say definitely just think about the next time you lie during the game truth or dare Don't thanks lie. for watching <laughs> but Anyway, um, we literally came to Nicole's room just to film this because we were just like, we need to do a review on this because it was just... And to kind of like calm down on her. And we were the only people in the theater, which made it more creepy. The fact that we were loud like kind of helped us not be so scared. Like I screamed at one point. I, I was overwhelmed. <laughs> With that being said, she's gotta get home, I gotta get to bed. Like I tried to say before, 
thank you guys so much for watching i know that this is kind of like a weird vlog video but i just wanted to let you guys know if it's worth seeing and it definitely is worth seeing i know a lot of people are like oh it's, it looks stupid but it's actually so 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 good I can't do two thumbs up because I'm holding my phone with the other one. We recommend it. You should see it. If you see it, comment and tell us what you think. Well, we Definitely. Tell her. <laughs> comment down below and tell me if you've seen it or if you want to see it or like what your favorite part was. So like, sorry if there's a little bit of spoilers in the comments. I mean, I don't really get comments. There's no spoilers in this yeah. video. But like, you can comment them. I really don't care. <laughs> okay, bye. Bye. <laughs>